I'm pissed off. I'm working late tonight. Fucking had enough of this shit. This G, this small Kenmore I got, nice G24 inch, works fine. And she spins. The problem was the lid lock was broken. So I bypassed the fucking bitch. It was fine. This fucking thing, I tried to change the whole back panel. Look at the fucking shit job I did. Oh my god. I'm fucking real. I tried to change the whole back panel. So I avoid all this fucking water gauges and shit. There it is there. You can't do that. It has to go back on. Fuck sakes, man. Unfucking real. But she spins and everything, but the camera doesn't sit right on it. Not only that, she works still with this other... I just put this whirlpool. She works, but... Again, I can't connect this because it's a different fucking cabinet. Oh, my God. Everything's unfucking believable. Okay, we got a power cord. And directly to the fucking power. Why do we need this bullshit here for? I'm freaking real. Stupid. Okay, she's gonna work? Let's find out. She's spinning. That's it. I bet you she'll take water in now. What a fucking mess for nothing. Unbelievable. I can't try to have no water connection, but I'm sure she'll work now. That was just stupidity. My God, all that for a fucking goddamn shit. All that for this fucking shit. Whatever the fuck this thing is for. Fuck off. When the dryer works, no problem, and she's quiet. I'm making no noise. So dry it works. No problem. Now check the washer. Okay guys, I put it all back together the way it was. Not fucking around with this shit no more. Okay, this is what I figured out here. I just fucking noticed. This fucking shit here, why they have this, I don't fucking know. But I noticed the power cord is coming in through here. And they got the power going in through this piece here. And out through here. And out. Black and white power into the machine. So why do we need this piece of shit here for? To fucking transfer the power. Just cut this, take this all apart. I've never seen this shit before in my life. Who fucking did this shit? I don't know. Cut this fucking all out of here. Here's the power. Connect the power to the fucking power. Here's the power cord coming from outside. Why are the other running through this fucking shit here for? I don't fucking understand why. What is this shit? Like, what do we need that for? So far, I've never seen something like this in my life. Stupid. The washing machine ain't taking water in. Because of this shit. Can't be the overflow switch. Take this fucking out of here. Or cut it all out and connect these two the, the way they're supposed to be. Power to power. Unfucking believable. This is what fucked me up. Somehow this shit is not making water go on the machine. Oh, I just hit my truck key. Watch me start my fucking truck. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so cut it and connect it. Fuck this shit. I'm going to Home Depot today. I'm going to get a dryer box and hook this to a dryer box and just have to plug it in and fucking on like this. And my scrap's gone. Buddy was just over here. 
Got my scrap, nice and clean shop now. Organized myself. I'm a bit calmer now. Because I'm getting things under fucking control. He brought me a coffee. Delivery guy brings me a freaking coffee. And a Tim card. Sweet. Didn't have to do that. Nice guy. He's a nice guy. Because why'd you do that for? I don't need that shit. You don't have to do that. Oh, you're good to me. You give me all jobs and shit like that. Yeah, no worries, man. That's what life's about. Help each other out. Okay, this was loose. I couldn't fucking screw it in, so I JB welded. It would be tight. The washer's dry works. Washer's not working. Probably, I don't have enough problem voltage in my generator. Who knows? And I had a message from a lady who has an Angus washer, drug drive. She said, y you have washer sell? Yes, I do. She goes, how much for your washer? I said, I'll give you this one, 280 bucks. Oh, can we just trade? Yeah, lady, I fucking want to trade you my working washers for all your broken ones. This way I make no fucking money. Does that make sense, lady? You stupid idiot. Yeah, I'm going to fucking give people bro working washers for their broken ones. That's why I'm in business for, to do that shit. Freaking lady. Oh, my God. Look at all the birdies. Zoom in. Oh, I can't fucking zoom in. Since we can't take the fucking drum apart, we're taking the back off. So I took all the screws off the plate. This thing should pop right out now, hopefully. Let me get some freaking gloves on. Try to get this freaking thing fixed. Holy shit, what the fuck is wrong with you? Still doesn't want to come apart. Oh my god. I'm gonna smash. The fucking agitator in pieces and pull the fucker out, regardless. I just replaced the agitator. I'm gonna smash it right now. I've had fucking enough. Here we go. I just smash it off in pieces. Cause now I'm curious what separated the tub from this fucking shit. And now the fucking thing comes out. Piece of shit. And now it comes out. Holy shit. I want to see what's broken here. Piece of shit. Yeah, now it comes out when it's busted. See? Because it's trying to make me buy new parts. Even the fucking jump's trying to make me spend money. I don't know if I cracked the tub or not. Probably cracked it somewhere. Okay, let's pull this thing out and see what the fuck's wrong with it. Piece of shit. Hammer solves your fucking problems, guys. Welcome back. Carmac 1. New GE laundry centers, guys. Is it worth buying? You tell me. Spider arm. Rotted out. Cheap metal. There you go. Spider arm broke. The whole tub came broke. Look how cheap the metal was, guys. Very cheap. Listen to it. Cheap metal. And that sits under water, too. You think you want to spend money on one of these washers that's not going to last not even a freaking year? Subscribe to my channel, Carmack Wine, for more appliance tips. Okay. Let's just put that together. Put the belt back on. I'll put the belt on afterwards. Oh, it goes here, stupid me. <laughs> GE crap. Come oh, fuck off. Come get your GE crap. I want a GE washer. I want something shiny and something new. Oh, it just came off. Fuck you, piece of shit. <gasps> oh my god, I'm mean, so fucking sharp. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's clean this fucking mess off. I don't know, is it worth buying a spider arm? I just patch the tub, put it all back together, buy a spider arm, and put it back together. You know, if you even you can find a spider arm. Holy shit, what a freaking disaster. You're not gonna believe this. Who fucking knew there's a spider arm in this? Holy shit. 
Oh my god, I finally broke it loose. Oh, look at my fucking pants. There you go, guys. GE crap. Buy your GE. That's fucking underwater constantly. Of course it rot. All this shit. Cheap zinc, look. Cheap metal. So your water gets full. This sits in the water constantly. Of course it's gonna rust out, man. It wouldn't last. Look at it. How old is this fucking washer? Look. How old is this fucking washer? Let me find a date. Brand new G. What the hell? Button's missing. Oh no. <laughs> fucking lose on. Here, you can plug your phone in and talk to it if it doesn't fucking listen to you. How old is this fucking thing? Right here. How old is this piece of shit? How old is this fucking washer? I don't see it. The fuck is the date? I'm guessing a couple of years old. GE, all electric computer crap. Wanna buy one of these fucking washers? Or you wanna buy a fucking old school? Well, that's it, guys. Look, this needs to be JB welded. It's got a hole right through it. Like right here. I could JB weld that. And that part. You need the spider arm. How the hell are you gonna get that nut off? A fucking spider arm. Oh, fucking you. A fucking spider arm. Holy shit. It's fucking disintegrated. Look at this crap. Look. Oh my god, look how light this is. You won't believe it. Look at this metal here, guys. Look. Look. Look at it. This is so fucking light. Look, it's like I can break this with my freaking hands. Listen to the noise it makes. Oh my god, that's not gonna fucking last. Really thick here, but hollow inside, right? And really thin here. This would snap in no fucking time. Look. Look at the freaking metal. Piece of shit. I wish I had a scale I could weigh this for you. Crap. And then they put these screws here. Like you're gonna get that far to take this fucking off. Stupid bastards. Yeah. Gee, trying to fuck people over. Right from China. Why don't they make it out of fucking plastic instead? Make it last one year, and they're gonna buy another GE washer with the cheap metal here. Look, listen to it. Cheap as shit. Could have made it a stainless steel, because you know why? Stainless steel can sit underneath water forever. Of course, let's look at that. There's nothing to it. And all this sets in water and soap. Water and soap. Look at this soap. It, it just corrodes it. Look. Cheap shit. The fucking nerve of the fucking prick. You fucking prick. I fucking went to get a, I wanted to get a tattoo of my dog that passed away on my arm. I put down 150 bucks for the tattoo. And I made an appointment down the line. It was three months after I put the, three months out of the way to get the tattoo done. My son tells me, Dad, they stink. Don't get a tattoo there. They suck. And by the way, I'll put their fucking name out. They're fucking assholes. Uh, I forgot the name of the tattoo place. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck, man. But anyways, I went back a week later. Said I changed my mind. I'm not ready for a tattoo right now since I don't have no tattoos. I'm kind of nervous. And he goes, uh, and I said to him, I know you, you probably keep the money, but you can keep, just give me, uh, keep 50 and give me the rest back. He goes, no, we don't refund money after you're making a fucking appointment. So I, didn't, I said, I let, I let it go. 150 bucks, then keep it. I don't give a fuck. It's true, whatever. And this guy runs a fucking hair salon. What about if they make an appointment and they cancel and you're wasting your time not making any business? You call that fucking free money? Fucking goof. The fucking nerve of people, eh? Holy shit. People are gonna go fucking work for free for you. Fuck you.